Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. As you know, I am a fan of looking at what other people say regarding VA, VA disability, VA benefits, uh, or any benefit for veterans for that matter, and going through it to one, see if we can pick up any new nuggets, and two, see if we can find maybe pieces that they might have left out so we can make sure we get the word out correctly. So it's kind of twofold. Can I learn something or can I add something? to the article. The headline here is VA Disability Income Limits. How much can you earn and get VA benefits? Well, I know in my mind what that kind of looks like and I just wanted to read through it um, and uh, see what it says and, and go from there. So a few things I want to let you know. For those that don't know, I have created a second channel with a co-host. So I do have a co-host on a second channel. Uh, this is always going to be the primary channel for me. Veterans Info Tap is it. Uh, but I thought that there was another way that we could collectively, as a group of, of uh, individuals out here, help to give some more value. And I think that the co-host aspect with a longer form uh, really kind of can do that. Uh, every Monday at 5 o'clock, we're going to be pushing out a new uh, long form topic based uh, video uh, where we go back and forth on specific topics. The first one just hit and uh, on Monday the 15th of January. So please check it out. That channel is Veterans Daily. Veterans Daily with Jay and Clay. I'm Jason and uh, so Jay rhymes with Clay. Whatever. So Check it out. I'll put it in the uh, in the comments. All right, so let's get back to this. Hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. All right, let's jump into it. VA disability income limits. How much can you earn and get VA disability benefits or VA benefits in, in, uh, in this specific instance? So, U.S. veterans are eligible for disability benefits from service-related conditions hindering their health regardless of their income. So hopefully most people understand that. But before I jump into the article, I'm going to give you a quick little story um, on how this can actually, I guess, be be something that actually does come to reality for folks, right? That where where people get put into this situation. I have a real life story on this situation, and um, I'm going to do it hypothetical though, and and share it with you so you can kind of see how this could actually happen. So, brand new to the idea of, of putting in for VA, right? You're not even quite sure what it's called, right? Disability compensation, compensation, VA, I'm gonna go get VA, whatever it is, right? So, there was a point in time where you didn't know even what it was fully called. So, the, the brand new mindset of, I'm gonna go down there and figure it out because I've heard other people talking about it and somebody told me I should do it. So now you go, oh, I know where the VA is. I saw a building that says VA on it. And I know that's Veterans Affairs. I know it's the VA, right? So I show up and you go in and you talk to somebody. Hey, you know, I just wanted to see about getting signed up with VA. Oh, okay. Uh, go over here to this you know, desk or cubicle or whatever and uh, so-and-so in there can help you out. All right, perfect. And you go in there and you're thinking you're on your way. Then you sit down and you have a conversation and the person says, well, okay, so you want to sign up? You, have you ever been with a VA before? Nope, never have. Okay, great. Uh, let me ask you a few questions. Um, what's your income? Okay, okay, great. Got your income. You're making whatever you're making. Okay, let's move on. Do you have a Purple Heart? No. Do you have a uh, were you a former prisoner of war? No. Um, were you recently separated? No. Uh, do you have a service connection? Um, no, I, I don't know what that is. No. Uh, and you move on. And you get through all these questions and they go, you know what, based on your income and all the other questions, you don't qualify for VA. Oh, okay. And you leave. The problem is, is that you walked into the VHA, the Veterans Health Administration, you didn't use any of the right words, and the person there is thinking you want to sign up for VA health care. You don't want to sign up for VA health care. You want to get VA benefits through the VA Benefits Administration, specifically disability compensation for your bad back, your neck, your arm, your tonight, whatever it is, right? But they don't know that, and you don't know enough to tell them what you're looking for. 
So you leave because you were told that you made too much money. So the reality is, is that you can make as you can make a million dollars a year and still get service connected for your bad back, your your knee, your injured this, your injured that, your your hypertension from Vietnam, whatever it is, right? You can get service connected and receive a disability compensation check. So I know I spent a lot of time on that up front, but um, it's it's important to understand the real life. I just dropped a, a one of these. Whatever. So anyway, this is the important piece. So you need to understand that, that these types of things happen and then it leaves the veteran thinking that they don't qualify and then it's not till 10, 15, 30 years later that you re-engage uh, with the VA because you had a conversation with somebody else that, that actually led you down the right path. So Let's jump into this article and see what it says and see if we could dismantle any of it or pick up any nuggets. All right. As veterans explore the multitude of assistance programs offered by the Department of Veterans Affairs, questions often arise regarding income limitations and their impact on eligibility for disability benefits. Understanding the nuances, and I say that all the time, it's filled with nuance, of VA benefits... Okay, so they're, they're all encompassing benefits, right? Beyond compensation. Particularly, disability income is what they're calling it, is crucial for veterans seeking financial support related to their service-related conditions. The VA provides a spectrum of benefits encompassing disability income, life insurance, education, and, and career counseling, pension benefits, and medical care. I'm going to stop there because I hate badly pension benefits, that it's called that. I love pension benefits, but I hate that it's called that because pension, for whatever reason, always makes me think of, okay, well, I worked for the VA, now I'm retiring and I collect my pension. That is not what VA pension is. VA pension is a safety net program for low and no income veterans and surviving spouses. It's a huge benefit there safety net benefit. You're not going to get rich off of it. You're not going to be, you know, living high on the hog. You have to be in a bad situation. But guess what? VA pension can make a bad situation not quite as bad. So very important to know about VA pension for both the veteran and surviving spouse. Uh, moving on. To access these benefits, veterans must navigate a comprehensive application process, a task that can be complex and challenging. Seeking guidance from third-party entities such as veteran service organizations or specialized companies can provide or prove beneficial in simplifying the, uh, this intricate procedure and ensuring veterans receive the benefits they rightfully deserve. Uh, moving on, understanding disability benefits for veterans. Uh, contrary to common misconceptions, uh, there are no income restrictions when it comes to qualifying for VA disability benefits. There is if you're applying for VA pension because they want to make sure that you're low or no income below the federal poverty level. All right. This uh, dispels. So again, this is talking specifically regarding disability benefits and uh, disability compensation. So this dispels the belief that veterans in sound financial standing may not be eligible for these benefits. Uh, the key determinant for eligibility remains the presence of a service-related condition, says Stan, uh, affecting a veteran's health with no consideration for their current income level. Moreover, the origin of injury, whether it occurred during service uh, as active duty or exacerbated an existing condition, is a critical factor in the approval process. Veterans who experienced a worsening of a pre-existing condition due to active duty may also qualify for benefits um, irrespective of their or irrespective of their financial uh, status. For VA medical benefits, income Wow. He's right next to, well, he's not inside here. He's right on the other side of the wall. That's Stan, for those that don't know. Stan is the rooster that I didn't know was a rooster when I got him as a little chick. Thought I had four hens. Surprise. Uh, four, I got three. Four VA medical benefits income thresholds play a crucial 
role in determining eligibility for various levels of healthcare services. So back to my story up front, there are different doorways into the VA healthcare system. The biggest and most prevalent doorway into the VA healthcare system <coughs> is having service connection. You were off cue, Stan. Should have been after I said that. All right. Uh, falling below the VA national income threshold uh, places veterans in different priority groups, influences their access to co-payment free health care services, and uh, the income limits for 2021, in any case, are $34,616 or less for veterans with no dependents. For an example, if you are a veteran uh, with four dependents, then that uh, jumps up to $48,685. Again, that's uh, the 2021 uh, income limits outlined in this article that actually just came out, I think, today or yesterday. So whatever, they're using old, old data. But it gives you an idea. Even if veterans surpass the national threshold, they may still qualify under priority group seven or priority group eight thresholds. While part, while, and again, they're talking about the priority groups within the VA Healthcare Administration for Healthcare. While Priority Group 7 allows access to VA healthcare with reduced co-payments, Priority Group 8 requires veterans to bear full co-payments. The only precise method to determine individual benefits is to apply and undergo a financial assessment. Again, not really. If you have service connections, then you're 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 in. So uh, or again, if you have Purple Heart or you're recently discharged or there's like seven different things um, that can apply. So it's not it's not the only way is to go the financial assessment. So you can you can make a thousand dollars a day and still be able to go get VA health care if you have service connections uh, that open up that door for you or your Purple Heart or you're recently separated or you are from a prisoner of war, what have you. So there's a bunch of different ways. The application process can be completed online, and that's the Form 1010, by the way, over the phone or in person at a VA medical center. Essential, uh, essential documents, such as your social security number, military discharge papers, latest tax return, and financial information for the household are required for a comprehensive evaluation. Again, that is if you're going for um, income-based, you know, I'm... I'm in a low income situation and uh, here's my means tested uh, evidence, right, for my admission into the VA healthcare network. Uh, navigating the VA benefits application can be uh, intricate and veterans are encouraged to seek assistance from veteran service officers or third party organizations like uh, Patriot Angels. Uh, is is what they put in this article. Now, these entities can provide value support in streamlining the application process and simplifying the complexities associated with obtaining VA benefits. Awareness and understanding are the first steps toward unlocking the financial support available to veterans, ensuring they receive the assistance they deserve for their dedicated service. And it looks like that concludes it. Uh, happy to uh, give my uh, two cents along uh, the way here. And uh, hopefully that opened up a little bit of awareness if you weren't aware. And if you were aware, great, just double taps on some things so you can uh, have a little bit of extra knowledge if you're talking to a buddy um, about the, the process and so forth. So with that, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Have a great one. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.